Hello everyone, this is architect Sharia Durrani, an assistant professor from Nitti School of Architecture, Planning and Design. We are conducting this session for you to know everything that is related to NATA 2020. The topics that we are majorly going to cover today is what is NATA, important dates related to NATA, what are the changes that has happened from the previous years, pattern of examination, schedule of examination and qualification criteria for NATA examination 2020 with many more other tips. So let's start with what is NATA? National Aptitude Test for Architecture. This is conducted by COA since 2006. What is COA? Council of Architecture. This is a body which has authority to fix norms and standards across the architectural institutions in the country. They also have expertise to conduct aptitude test which is at a national level. Now this national level examination creates a single window for you to take admission process in the first year of BR course that is a 5 year course. Let's move to our second topic that is important dates for NATA. Registrations are open till August 16th so if you haven't registered yourself yet please do register if you are interested in the course. Examination will be conducted on 29th of August 2020. Now let's understand what are the changes that have happened from the previous year to this year in NATA. In the view of prevalent situation of arising pandemic coronavirus cases, COA to ensure social distancing have come up with certain changes. There are three major changes that have happened in NATA 2020 particularly. First change is Council of Architecture is now conducting every test online. You in this case have a flexibility to choose whether you want to attend NATA examination from home or if you want to attend from an examination center. The council is providing you flexibility on that criteria. Now the second change that has happened is due to the partial cancellation of class 12 examination across the country. Here the Ministry of Education in recommendation of COA has come up with a new eligibility criteria. Here, instead of 50% marks, you are free to attempt NATA examination regardless of your marks in 12th or your 10 plus 3 with mathematics. Now the third major change that has happened is in the pattern of the examination. There are basically two parts in NATA exam, part A and part B. Part A up until now used to be drawing test and part B was general aptitude. But to ensure social distancing, part A drawing test has been ruled off completely and the new edition of topic has arrived that is cognitive skills and visual composition test. Note that this is going to be completely online. Part B is uh, going to be about test on scientific ability and general aptitude. Now here the term test on scientific ability is basically your PCM subjects, physics, chemistry, maths from 11th and 12th. Now these were the three major changes that have happened from the previous year to this year. Now let's move on to the next topic that is pattern of examination. As I already discussed there are two parts in NATA examination part A and part B. Let's start with part B examination. In part B there are going to be 50 questions and which you have to solve in 45 minutes. Each question is going to have four options out of which one option is going to be correct. This is called MCQ, multiple choice question. Each of the correct answer is going to get you 1.5 marks and also there is going to be no negative marking. So the uh, confusion that most students have is whether or not to attend the, all the questions. Here you should attend all the questions. Part B basically have two parts. That is uh, first one being PCM and second one being the general aptitude. General aptitude portions remain the same. So you can always solve the previous year question papers to get good marks in this session. PCM is going to be 15 questions and general aptitude and logical reasoning is going to be of 35 questions. This entire part B consists of 75 marks. After you are done with your part B examination, you are going to get a 3 minute break. Now let's move on to the part A, cognitive skills and drawing and visual composition test. Here in this section you have 10 questions which you have to solve in 72 minutes. Question 1 is going to be of 17 marks. This is going to be a PTQ type question. What is a PTQ type question? This is preferential type questions. Here 
unlike your mcqs here your answers are going to seem very much similar and you have to choose according to the priority of what you think is hierarchical way of correction question 2 3 and 4 is also going to be ptq based here each of these questions are going to be 16 marks each and you're going to get 12 minutes each to attempt these questions now question 5 and 10 is going to be of 10 marks each in time limit of 4 minutes each so this sums up to your 125 marks in total part a and part b is basically 125 plus 75 that is going to be of 200 marks so your nata examination is for 200 marks also note that you are going to get a time limit on all your questions so once your time is up you move on to the next question the next topic is schedule of examination exam will be conducted on 29th of august there are going to be two sessions of these examinations one is the morning session and another one is the afternoon session you have all the flexibility in choosing what is the priority if you want to attend the morning session or the afternoon session but also this is on the basis of first come first serve so if the morning slot is filled you are automatically going to get the afternoon timings now let's look at the timings of these sessions first session is going to start from 10 am to 10:45 am this is going to be part b you have 45 minutes to finish your part b as soon as the part b is done you have 3 minutes of break and your time starts for the part a part a will start at 10:48 am to 12 in the noon this is basically for 72 minutes here your first session gets over if you have chosen for second session second session is going to start from 12:30 pm to 1:15 pm completing your part b first and followed by the 3 minutes break and 1:18 pm to 2:30 pm you are going to finish your part a session let's move on to the last topic that is the qualification criteria you have to score minimum of 32 marks out of 125 marks in the part a section and minimum of 18 marks out of 75 marks in the part b section note that nata uh, conducts two examinations per year if you are not satisfied with the examination you give first you can wait for your results and a registration time slot will be open to register for your next examination which is most likely to happen in the month of september after your results come for both the examination you will have two score cards the best out of the two will be automatically chosen other tips and recommendation must be given on your computer screens for more updates please check the nata website www.nata.in so this session was basically it everything you need to know about nata 2020 we at nitty school of architecture planning and design are providing you a crash course program by our professors if you are interested to enroll yourself please contact the numbers given in this computer screen thank you so much as an awareness and skill mapping program we the nitte school of architecture planning and design are conducting a design competition to all the students studying under the nitte groups of institution both bangalore and mangalore for complete details have a look on the screen and sign up for this competition thank you